<gasps> that no dream? That nightmare! It was a premonition. On Eba, we call it a telling dream. And it was telling me that Rodney is in danger. I have to warn him! Uh, uh, Eba! Can't it wait till the morning? Um, trying to scare him. Loose. It's three o'clock in the morning. You've both got school tomorrow. Uh, I know. I, I know. It was a stupid idea. <laughs> well, I better go to bed. Good night. Lucy. Lucy, come back here. Yeah. What? Apologise to your brother for scaring him. Sorry, Rodney. Where's the pizza? Hello? Pizza? Meba, don't ever pull a stunt like that again. Mum would have hit the roof if she found you. I knew she would not. What do you mean? And how did you know that Lucy was bringing a blanket? There you are, little pizzas. You not hide from Grub! Ah, uh, oh. Grub, no! You choke! <coughs> Rodney, what do you do if someone's choking? Uh, uh, I don't remember. Don't worry, you will. I remember. <coughs> oh, you saved Grub's life! Thanks! Maybe how did you know Grub was going to choke? My even psychic powers have been activated. What a psychic! It means... Meba knows what's going to happen next. She, she can see into the future. Grubby psychic too. Last night, me dream me eat pizza. And today, me eat pizza. <gasps> Meba, why is this happening? I don't know. On Eba, we develop our psychic powers once a year when all of our planets line up with our sun. So, there's your answer. See? The planets in the Earth's solar system are lining up too. Well, well, how long will Meba have these powers? Till the planets go out of alignment in maybe a week. A week? We're rich in a week? We could uh, pick the winning lottery numbers, make a... Lucy! I can't control what I'm going to see. Besides, I must not abuse my powers. Meba, if you can really see into the future, does that mean the dream you had last night is going to come true? That's what I've been trying to tell you. <sighs> okay, tell me exactly what happened. You were in a white robe. Water was squirting at you. Then you were naked. Lucy and Marguerite and another girl were laughing at you. Oh, Marguerite? I can't wait. And then you yelled, My life is ruined. Oh, Mabel, we can't let this happen. Is there any way we can stop the dream from coming true? The dream is clear. You must stay away from running water. All running water? Yes. Rodney, this may sound like a silly question, but why are you cleaning your teeth with orange juice? Uh, because it's better than doing them with lemonade. <laughs> Of course. Yeah. It's obvious when you think about it. <laughs> oh, Rodney, you didn't flash. No! no! Year 7 can be a very stressful year. Meba, look, you've got to keep quiet about your... My psychic powers? 
Yes. Yes, because otherwise people... People will get suspicious and start asking me questions. Exactly, and you don't want people... People to know the truth about me and Grob. <sighs> me, Bob, will you please, please stop... stop finishing off your sentences? Oh, I'll try, but I have no control over what is happening to me. Guess what? The car park was full, so then Mum parked her car in Mr Pratt's spot. <sighs> Mr Pratt is going to go ballistic when he gets here. Just be careful, it's a very valuable piece of equipment. Rodney, it's her. Her who? The girl from the train, the one who saw you naked. <laughs> Ah, hello, everybody. This is Jessica. She's here for a week on work experience. Jessica, this is Meba, Lucy, Rodney, and um, oh, Philip. <laughs> Hi, it's great to be here. I love kids' breakfast, and I've always wanted to see how you put the show together. <laughs> Hi, Jessica. I'm the star of the show, and it would be my pleasure if I could give you the benefit of my experience. Shall we do lunch? <laughs> well, I want to learn as much as I can while I'm here. Well, the first thing you have to learn is keep the producer happy. So be a darling, get me a glass of water, will you? He's in year seven. <laughs> right. Get a cloth and wipe that up, Jessica. And while you're out, you can get me a, a coffee, white with two sugars. On your way back, pick up my dry cleaning from reception and then you can um, polish my desk. Okay. Di, she's not your servant. Well, everybody has to start somewhere. I wish I had this kind of opportunity when I was her age. Now, down to business. This is the True View Fitness Bike, courtesy of... Bruce's Fitness World. Right. You can get the aerobic benefits of cycling while, thanks to the True View Stereo Optical Viewer, experience cycling through beautiful landscapes. All without leaving your bedroom. Thank you, Meba. Now, we have to demonstrate it. On the show this week, maybe a fitness theme. Good idea, Meba. Meba and I think that this week's show should have a fitness theme. No, I was just saying what you think. It's not what I think. <gasps> Mr. Pratt's just arrived. Well, how do you know that? Meba, shut up. <laughs> Mr. Pratt's seen your car, Mum. Die! pick up the phone. It was not ringing. Meba! Uh, Pratt here. You've caused a serious traffic situation, Mrs. Bailey. <laughs> How did you know Pratt would call? She didn't. Philip predicted it, didn't you? I, I did. When you came in, you said, um, Pratt's gonna go ballistic. And he did. Philip, I think you might be psychic. Me? Psychic? But he emptied out all the rubbish bins at the canteen before Grob got to have his afternoon snack. Philip. I bet you know what Grob's gonna say next. <laughs> um, Grob, hungry? Grob hungry! <gasps> See? Oh. I always knew there was something special about you. Mm. Wow, mm. I am psychic. Hey, Mum, I just had a great idea for next week's show. I'll be psychic Philip. I'll need a special set and a costume so I look really mystical. And we can do Philip's psychic hotline. Kids ring in and I, I tell them about their futures. Great idea! Now we'll leave you here to get working on it. I'm sure you've already foreseen what you're gonna do. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Rodney, have you had a shower this morning? <laughs> Him. Psychologists have proved that year seven is the most stressful time in a young person's life. Okay, so here's the plan for my psychic Philips. A towering mystical mountain surrounded by swirling mystical mist. Mystical mountains don't come cheap. Mum said I could have whatever I want. Okay, how big do you want this mountain? 
big, really big. I need specifications. Philip, give me a measurement in centimeters. Centimeters. Uh, oh, lo lots of centimeters. At least a hundred. Hundred. Gee, that big. Yeah, and coming down the mountain, I want that. A set of grass covered steps. How did you know I was going to say that? Eh. Oh, it, it's it's the vibes you're passing on. Mm. Very strong. Very psychic. I'll see what the set department can do. And I also had this vision of a crystal pond at the bottom of the mountain I can gaze into. Oh, and you want that to be big too? Yeah, like at least 150 centimetres. How about Malcolm's Guide to Groovy Grooming? Where... No, OK, Malcolm's Helpful Homework Hints. Every night I give them a new hint. Malcolm, teenagers don't watch television to learn how to shine their shoes or do homework. They want to see stories about monsters and aliens and psychic phenomena, all that oogly boogly stuff. Oogly boogly. Come back to me when you got something like that. Okay. Aliens, psychic phenomena, where am I going to come up with stories like that? Boogie. And uh, this is the studio where we do the show on Saturday. Meba, I love your I don't understand segment. How do you keep coming up with ideas for it? Must be hard to think like an alien all the time. Actually, I find it quite easy. <laughs> if I had an idea for a show, who would I talk to about it? Anyone but Philip. He'd try and make you believe it was his own. Uh. Jessica, I have been looking everywhere for you. I want you to wash my car. But she's supposed to be here on work experience. And that's exactly what I'm getting her to experience? Work? A concept many young people fail to understand. Or Jessica could measure me for my psychic Philip costume. I'll sign on your car right away, Mrs Bailey. Uh, Jessica, I see a great future for us. The tea leaves never lie. I used a tea bag. Oh. Why just leave her alone, Philip? Can't you see she's not interested? Oh, well, she's just shy. She's not used to the light of my powerful personality falling on her. Uh, sorry, everybody all right down there? You saved my life. You knew that was going to happen. You must be psychic. It wasn't me, but... Huh? It's Philip. Philip? Yeah, it was. Yes. You said, uh, light falling, remember? And me, but just passed on the message. You're right. I did say that. Philip, you saved my life. I want you for the show on Saturday night. Mr. Howard's gonna love this. You are oogly boogly. Mm. <sighs> That's it. Look, if you can't control your psychic powers... Then I can't do next week's show. I wasn't gonna say it quite like that. I know, but that's what you were thinking. Oh, I hate this, Lucy. I hope the planets don't stay in alignment for too much longer. Hmm. <sighs> Come in, Margaret. Nearly ready. Rodney's still getting dressed. Hey, you want to go in and embarrass him? Oh, Lucy, <laughs> you're horrible. I try. Oh, what's that disgusting smell? Oh, it's like someone sprayed deodorant on a dead dog. <laughs> hi, Marguerite. Oh, hi, hi Rodney. Uh, Lucy, can I get a drink of water? Wait. 
till you see my psychic Philip said, Mum, this is going to be the best show that I've ever done. <gasps> this mountain is tiny. I specified a huge mountain. You asked for it to be 100 centimetres high. Well, that's big, isn't it? 103 centimetres, that's three centimetres more than what you asked for. Here's your psychic Philip costume. This is a bed sheet with a hole cut in it. I'm not some cheap sideshow psychic, you know. I've saved lives. I've got power and charisma. I can read the future. Then you should know what your costume is going to look like. Mum! They're going to make me look like an idiot. I want a new costume. I want a new set! If you're really a psychic, you'd know. We're only 15 seconds! Get the smoke machine happening. There's no time now, darling. But with look, with lighting and with smoke, you'll, look, you'll just look fabulous there. Trust me. <laughs> we have come a long way in our search for wisdom, Rob. There have been many hardships. Hunger. Thirst. The smell of your armpits. <clears throat> but finally we have arrived at the mystical mountain. I wonder if the great psycho, Psyche, will see us. I have foreseen your coming, O oh seekers of wisdom. Whoa. And I have only one thing to say. Welcome to the Kids Breakfast Psychic Phenomena Show. I'm Psychic Philip, and I'll be taking your calls on the Psychic Phenomena line. Meepa, Meepa, I told you to stay away. Lucy, I have to warn Rodney. I had the dream again. The danger is almost upon him. You see, you told me that Meepa was sick. She, she was, but uh, she's better now. There's no time to slot you in. Jessica, Jessica, I'm dying of thirst. Tea, black with lemon, donut, cinnamon. Now. I have a feeling there is someone who needs to talk to me. Hi, Psychic Phil. It's... Hello. My name's Trevor. It's a boy called Trevor. How can I help, Trevor? I want your advice about Lulu. She used to be really affectionate, but now she's become all aggressive. I don't know what to do. I'm seeing candlelight. I'm hearing soft music. You need to put the romance back in your relationship. Buy her. Perfume and, and flowers. Wine her. Dine her. Yeah, yeah, Isn't yeah, he amazing? Psychic Phil. I hear wedding bells. I I see a tropical island honeymoon. I see a long kiss at sunset. But Lulu's my dog. I I, I knew that. Now look, let, let's just see what new fitness products they got at Bruce's Fitness World. Rodney! Bruce's new True View Fitness Park lets you work up a sweat at home while enjoying the views of the country or the sea. This is hard work. While I'm crossing through the mountains, you can cross back to Sarkin Field. Is it possible to see into the future? Psychic Phillips says. <coughs> yes! I will now Careful, gaze really hard. into the crystal pool and give my predictions. He's fantastic. Have a psychic, I'm an elephant. Don't bother me again unless you've got a decent idea for a teenage show. Uh, Mr. Howard, I have some ideas for a show that might appeal to teenagers. Mr. Howard is a very busy man. 
Go and get some ice for my mouth. Wait. This looks interesting. Uh, come up to my office and we'll discuss it. Uh, Mr. Howard. Let's see the world of spirits, girl. Jessica! What about us? Philip, we've got to show the finish. I just want to ask her out. No! Oh! I knew you were going to say that. Oh! <gasps> 